Tonight we are seeing newly released video and pictures showing the salvage of the boat that two South Florida teens disappeared from months ago. The grieving families hope that items found like a cell phone could offer clues into the final hours of the teens lives. CBS 4 anchor Elliot Rodriguez joins us once again in the control room with this story. Elliot. Well Rick as we've reported already this cell phone has fueled a family feud between the families of Perry Cohen and Austin Stefanos. Tonight we're getting a look at the remnants of the boat they were on the night they disappeared and we're hearing from Perry's mother about her fight to find out what's inside that cell phone. Not much is left of the small boat that carried two Jupiter teenagers on a fatal fishing trip last July. The crew of a Norwegian research vessel found the boat used by Perry Cohen in Austin Stefanos. It was capsized and drifting about 100 miles off the coast of Bermuda. The serial number on the engine confirmed it's the boat used by the two teenagers. The Norwegian crew also found a valuable piece of evidence on the boat. It's the iPhone belonging to 14-year-old Austin Stefanos. While the phone belonged to Austin, Perry's family wants access to it. All we're looking for is transparency, and we would like the phone to be um, investigated by, by the proper authorities. Perry's family filed a lawsuit but later withdrew it requesting access to the phone which is now in the hands of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. Austin's father has said he's working with the phone's maker Apple to retrieve information and had an expert confirm the phone's iCloud feature was never enabled. While there is a rift between the two families, Pamela Cohen says she doesn't want personal information from the phone but her family needs to know if there's anything on there pertaining to her son. It's amazingly difficult to get through every day and to wake up um, living through the nightmare every single day without knowing one ounce of information. Now the iPhone remains in the hands of FWC investigators who say they'll return it to Austin's parents who have agreed to share the contents with Perry's family. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News tonight. Elliot, thank you.